I request you all to ask your questions at the end of the session if you have. Uh, let me finish from my end as my presentation. And whenever I'll, I'll, I'll finish my presentation, please ask your doubts, ask your question. Your each and every question will be answered. No uh, problem as such. And uh, whatever I'm giving in this presentation or whatever I'm going to present in my presentation, please be, uh, you know, attentive and uh, listen whatever I'm telling each and everything. <coughs> please allow me to share my screen. Okay, uh, sir, uh, if uh, you have PPTs uh, at last, uh, we are expecting that uh, you will share the PPTs also. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll share the PPT, no issue at all. Okay, okay. Thank when uh, with, with the permission of you guys, I have uh, started the recording and I'm sharing my screen. Uh, yeah. Is my screen visible? Yeah, visible. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, if, uh, if, I, if I, you know, sorry, if uh, I face some problem with connectivity or if you observe that uh, there is a problem with the connectivity from my end, please let me know through uh, or by calling or through call. Otherwise, you Your know, voice I'll... is a little bit uh, low, Watch. lower. Okay, I'll, I'll do one thing now. Okay, I'll do one thing. Just wait. I'll just let me stop my camera. Just a minute. Huh? <clears throat> Okay. Now it's okay. Yeah. Once again, I'll start sh screen sharing. These are the you know obstacles in the process of online. Now is it visible? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Is my voice clear? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Very much. Thank you. So much. Uh, thank you so much for your prompt reply, and uh, we are here to start our session. The session, which is uh, fully dedicated for the purpose of preparing for PhD selection interview, this is the topic, and this one is the you know topic of discussion, and this one is the topic in your mind also, because as per our discussion which we had earlier, and from that uh, I understood that everyone has received a mail from your respective research centers for the interview, and. Uh, in the city of Pune also, they have, you know, issued one circular and in that circular, they asked all the research centers to conduct the interviews between 13th of January to 8th of February. In this particular span, every research, and research center has to complete uh, the ent entire interview process. And this is what you uh, people have, you know, receiving a mail from research centers for appearing for the interview. Basically, the process of interview is very simple, but there are so many questions in the mind of you guys as a research scholar. No doubt your questions are, you know, absolutely fine and correct because you're going to appear for the interview first time. And this is what you will have this kind of questions in your mind. No doubt. But this particular session which I'm conducting today is going to, you know, answer all those questions which are there in your mind and i'm trying my level best to answer all those questions which are there in your mind through my presentation if those questions are not covered in my presentation i request you all to ask your question one by one after finishing my question uh, sorry after finishing my presentation so this is the only request from my end and with this particular one uh, please allow me to start my session i'm starting my session with your permission so here we are as we know that you all are you all are going for research <clears throat> and you have that desire of pursuing your research this is what you uh, people have gone through the entire process which is conducted by the sppu pune and uh, it means you guys are ready for conducting or undertaking a research before going to see what sort of questions will be asked in the interview what will be the pattern then what they are going to ask you, whether the proposal is necessary or not. Are they going to ask some questions on research proposal or not? There are so many questions in the mind of you guys. And uh, here are some answers with me. So before that, let me revise something in a short span of time about the research. What is research? Most of the people, uh, they uh, always talk about the concept of research, 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 research means what? So research is nothing but what? Creating a new knowledge as we guys have seen the concept of research in our you know past lectures also when we were there for six days workshop so here also i'm giving an idea about the concept of research the concept of research is not new we try to search something new on the basis of previous knowledge or on the basis of old knowledge 
and this is what research is called as creating a new knowledge whatever you know pre, uh, two three slides i'm covering as a part of introductory introductory uh, part of this lecture uh, this is or these slides are also important for you guys to answer the questions regarding basic knowledge of research which will be asked in the interview so don't uh, you know think like that sir is covering basic part this basic part is covered for the purpose of answering basic questions which will be asked in the interview so research is nothing but what creating something new on the basis of previous one on the basis of old one so research is having two different word re and search when we go for searching again it is called as research we know everything so this is what it is also called as creating something new sort of knowledge then when we go for known to unknown we uh, know some things and on the basis of known knowledge we try to find out some unknown knowledge or unknown facts and this is what research is conducted then solution to a research problem no doubt research is a solution to a research problem so whenever we undertake a research we have certain problems we have certain research questions in our mind and for those uh, questions we try to find out some answers so answers also can be called as solutions to those research questions so through conducting research or through research we try to provide solution to those research questions or those research problems which are there in our mind and this is what research is conducted and the last but not least fulfill the desire of searching new i know that you all are here for this purpose you want to create something new you want to contribute something in terms of research in your domain in your subject knowledge and this is what you all have you know uh, Uh, gone through the entire process of university for the purpose of phd which is also called as phd research so you have that desire of searching new in your domain knowledge and this is what you all are here and uh, this is research or this is a small something about or something about research we uh, sh should or we are aware about it so about after this we are going to see what sort of qualities we should possess this may ask in the or this kind of question they may ask in the Uh, interview also what sort of qualities you possess as a researcher so you guys have to answer by looking at the points which are mentioned in the slides so just look at this as a researcher or if you want to become a good researcher or if you want to go for a qualitative or if you want to go for a qualitative research then you should possess some qualities and those qualities i tried my level best to mention here the first one is anchored on a sound research question if you want to undertake a research there should be a question in the mind of you guys questions for what if there are certain questions if there are certain problems then only research will be you know are taken place otherwise if there is no problem there is no question of research as such similarly i think we guys are uh, or if i want to give you an example of this let me give you uh, one example of uh, how the research and problem both are correlated i think uh, we all or the entire nation is in race nation or all all nations are in search of finding out a solution for pandemic or finding out a vaccine for covid 19 still people are working on that most of the nations and scientists they are working on that so pandemic is the problem and uh, scientists are working on to resolve this problem so this is what the problem and research both are correlated and they are having you know significant correlation between each other so this is what if you want to undertake a research there should be a question there should be a problem and without a question or research question or without a research problem research won't be there remember this one so you should have that sound research question if you want to go for a sound research or if you want to go for a research or good research as such then follows a systematic appropriate research methodology whenever we go for research research is called as what systematic way of conducting the work whenever we go think about the concept of research there is one methodology 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 means what it is none other than a certain or a particular process that we follow to undertake the research or to conduct the research if there is no particular process to undertake the research your research will be little bit vague and you will not have expected outcome from your research this is what there should be a systematic way appropriate way and a particular research methodology to conduct your research so this is what you should have one particular methodology methodology means what a process a procedure that we follow to get our desired outcome and the next one is what acknowledges previous research on the topic see uh, we are not the first one uh, who are going for the research 
in the past also n number of researchers they have did or they have gone for their research and they have already published their research so on the basis of previous research knowledge and topics which are already done by the researcher on that or on that base we are going to start our research we are going to go, find out something new on the basis of previous research so this is what whatever research is done by the people in the past we are knowing we are going to acknowledge them and this is what uh, if we are going to acknowledge them that can be called as the quality of good research why it is there why we go for acknowledging previous research from that we can easily understand what they have exactly done and what is remaining for us whatever they have done no doubt we are going to consider that one also but apart from that what we are going to find out something new what we are going to show something new through our research that we can easily understand and this is what it is must to acknowledge the previous research this may, this is what they may ask you some questions if your topic is matching with uh, you know somebody's research so they may ask you one question like this already this kind of research is done and what you are going to do show something new so you guys have to answer like that whatever they have done i'm not going to do the same things but on the basis of their research i'm going to find out something new and this is what this is what my research is important one if you if you acknowledge their research no doubt it will be useful for you guys to conduct your research in the in the future then you just relevant empirical data and proper data analysis method if you want to go for the data analysis and all there are certain empirical data analysis methods which are useful for data analysis and data interpretation also so we guys have to use all those things for the purpose of data analysis and interpretation on the basis of data <coughs> analysis and interpretation we go for uh, drawing our conclusions find our to uh, you know for uh, writing our uh, findings and suggestions also and this is what if you have proper methods of data analysis data interpretation then that will be easy for you guys to draw your conclusion similarly you can also write your findings you can also write your suggestions Uh, related to your topic and all so these are the qualities of good research and uh, this is what research is the most important aspect as far as your you know interviews also uh, interviews concern <clears throat> now we can see the process of interview am i audible properly yes sir yes okay. yes now we are going to see the process of interview what university selection process is there so this is the process of university every i think uh, this one is a common uh, you know pattern that every university follows at uh, the time of uh, giving admissions for phd scholars so this is the process i think most of the things you guys have gone through only few things are left and uh, i think 50% part you guys have completed and 50% part is remaining so if you look at the first one that is screening if you look at the second one that is evaluation then assessment selection approval eligibility so screening part is already done screening is done on the basis of two parameters for the purpose of screening uh, they have conducted uh, entrance examination and uh, there were two different methods for the purpose of screening uh, screening is done on the on the basis of pet examination those who have uh, those who have you know uh, cleared pet they have gone for the next process then even uh, those who have cleared net and set they got exemption for the pet so that was the part then evaluation part is also there they are going to evaluate now they are going to evaluate or they are going to assess you and for the purpose of selection they have kept interview and uh, after the interview they will allot you the guide once the guide is allotted then they will ask you to submit your final proposal to rr rr means research and recognition committee that we call it rrc once the approval is there from the rr or you know city side then you will be totally eligible to start your research work so this is the process of selection so till the eligibility from the university we cannot say that you guys have admitted for phd so this one is a pattern or this one is a process if you look at the process we can say this process is a little bit lengthy but the 50% part you guys have completed already and now are you are at the stage number 4 that is selection process and uh, you are going to appear for this selection process and here only they are going to decide or they are going to decide that whether you will be selected or not 
and for the purpose of selection there are certain parameters and those parameters we are going to discuss in upcoming part of the session so this is one is a just a pattern which is there in every new city for the purpose of selection for the interview or for the phd program if you look at the screening process as i told you there is a dual screening process as we know that dual means what two parameters they are using for the purpose of screening as we know that there are two parameters parameter number one is entrance examination that you guys have already cleared some of them they have exemption on the basis of net set and gate examination they got exemption on the basis of this kind of examination or some of them they are very you know uh, what we call them brilliant or intellect intelligent and this is what they have cleared pet examination and this is what they got an exemption or they got entry for the interview so this one is the first parameter and already you guys have cleared this parameter parameter number two is left and that parameter number two is what interview and now here is a it means what 50 percent part you guys have completed and 50 percent part is left and that you are going to cover through this second parameter called interview so interview is the most important aspect no doubt at all even the entrance examination and getting an exemption on the basis of net and set is also important no doubt at all but here you are going to interact most of the time what happen you know we gather very brilliant in writing the examination and clearing the examination so uh, there may be a question in the mind of you guys why there are two parameters or there are why there is a dual screening process the reason behind that people are very much brilliant in writing the examination and clearing the examination but people are not good in interaction so for phd program not only entrance examination is enough even they are going to check whether you are good in communication whether you are good in interaction or not so if you want to pursue your phd if you want to undertake a research not only theoretical knowledge is important at the same time you should have command over language you should have command over communication you should have a good interaction skill or inter personal skill we call it so this is what these kind of parameters they have kept or screening process they have kept so second screening process or second parameter of screening process you're going to face very soon and this is what this particular session is organized for you all so now we are going to see what is there in screening process so see why entrance examination why what is the logic behind keeping entrance examination for you all logic is very simple to check basic knowledge of research I think uh, your examination was MCQ pattern or it was MCQ best questions or there were some MC, uh, multiple choice questions and you guys have cleared that. So through that examination, they have checked your basic knowledge of research, whatever sort of knowledge you have, what do you mean by research, then what are the parameters of research, what is hypothesis testing, what is you know research methodology, what is primary data collection, what is second data collection, so many questions they asked and you guys have cleared those questions. It means what? You guys have proved that you are very good in basic knowledge of research. Even they have checked your research aptitude also. At the same time, they have checked your depth of research and research knowledge. Even they have checked your depth of this PG specialization because some questions were based on your PG specialization also. So this is what this entrance examination is. Examination was there. So that was the basic part. And through this entrance examination, they understood that if you have cleared that entrance examination, they understood that you are good in basic knowledge of research now they are going to see whether you are really good in basic knowledge of research whether you have really that sort of knowledge whether you really possess that knowledge of research or not they are going to understand through interaction and this is what interviews are kept see uh, as i told you earlier people are good in writing the examination but it doesn't mean that everybody is good in interact also we have seen so many people they are very good in clearing the examination they can get 90 90 out of 90 or 100 out of 90 when they write their examination but when we ask them to express something when we ask them to talk something on a particular matter they won't talk this is the fact we guys have seen and this is what this kind of dual screening system 
as adopted by the university for the purpose of in, uh, for the purpose of phd admission my dear my dear you know friends so why interview this is the question in the mind of you guys you may say like that we have covered or we have cleared pet examination we have cleared net and set examination which is called as tough examination as far as you know academic is concerned still why there is an interview we guys are having experience of 10 years or 15 years or you know from the academics or from the field of industry so why interviews get i have told you they want to interact with the they want to interact with the scholar the person who is you know going to undertake a research is called as research scholar so they want to interact with the scholar interact in terms of what no doubt theoretically he is very good theoretically he has cleared everything now they want to see the proof of that through interaction they will ask you the same question what is research what is hypothesis what is you know objectives why objectives are kept what is statement of problem you guys have written in the examination no doubt now they are going to verify that whether you are up to the mark or not through interaction and this is what they want to interact with you as a research scholar and this is what interview is kept then assessment of eligibility whether you are really eligible to get your admission for phd program or not they are going to assess you through your interview through your interaction and this is what interview is kept then evaluation of competence and research attitude they are going to see your competent competency level whether you are really competent or not through some questions they will ask you some questions regarding your research regarding the knowledge of research regarding the topic that you have chosen they will ask you so many questions what sort of question they will ask you i'm going to show you through my presentation even i'm going to show you the pattern of marking how the marks are allotted at the time of interview so they are going to evaluate you evaluate uh, evaluate you on the basis of certain parameters they are going to check your competency level they are going to see your research attitude through interview and this is what interviews are kept know the personality even they want to see the person who is going to um, admit for the phd program what sort of personality is that and through interaction they can also get an idea about your personality and if you want to understand the personality definitely there should be a need or there is a need of interaction and through interaction we can easily understand the person we can easily understand the personality what you are exactly most of the time we do not understand the personality through written examination or theory examination and this is what orals are kept or you know uh, uh, what we call it practicals are kept interactions are kept and this one is a sort of interaction which is there in the form of interview and this is what i think so interviews are must and we go for these kind of things while conducting interviews for the phd programs i hope you all are understanding what i mean to say now the purpose of interview what is the purpose of interview there are different purposes of interview or conducting interview for the phd program the first one is what proper justification for your selection see now i will give you one example i think uh, people they have reached at this particular level of pre selection interview now you all are at pre selection interview your interviews are scheduled some of them they have received their mail some of them they will receive their mail soon so you ha all have reached at this level now all are equally qualified to get selected listen you all are equally qualified to get selected for phd program i think nobody is here in this session who can say like that sir i am not eligible to get admission for phd everyone uh, feels that i am eligible or we feel that we are eligible means those who are there for the interview suppose for example uh, there is only one post and 10 entries are there this is what i am telling there is only one post for one particular subject and 10 entries are there all those 10 can say we all are fully eligible to get admitted for this phd program but the post is only one now the, there is a question in the mind of uh, the, uh, the panel in the mind of panel who will be selected or who uh, or for whom they have to select this is the question in the mind of panel no doubt their question is also you know appropriate or uh, question is also correct so here you guys guys have to justify yourself how you are eligible or more eligible than the others for the post and this is what interview is kept 
Now see, this one is an awkward situation for the panel also. If there is only one post and 10 entries are there, according to the rule, you guys have cleared net set, you guys have cleared pet examination. It means what you all are eligible. But the awkward situation is there for the panel, not for you guys, to whom they have to select. This is the question. And for that purpose, interview is there. And here, there is a chance for you guys to justify your selection, how you are better than others, what sort of knowledge you, uh, you know, possess than the others about the research that you have to show. And this is what interview is there. Then fair and transparent selection. See, through out of those 10 people, they have to select one. So no doubt they have to, you know, use some parameters for fair and transparent selection. No doubt all have cleared examination, all have cleared net ex examination, all have cleared pet examination. Now they will apply some parameters for the purpose of selection. They will check whether do you have a research knowledge or not, whether you are eligible to uh, undertake the research or not, whether your topic is relevant or not. N number of parameters are there. Those parameters also we are going to discuss in today's session. Soon after that, they are going to see your competence level, whether you are competent or not. Then level of interest, they are going to observe the level of interest also. What sort of level of interest you have. And the next one, selection on the basis of performance and merit, no doubt. Whatever sort of performance you're giving in the interview and what sort of merit you're showing in the interview, that is also considered, no doubt, that is only considered at the time of interview. So this is what interviews are conducted. So there may be a question in the mind of uh, you guys, why interview is there? And here is the answer, why interview is there? Now the dual assessment during interview. During interview or during the interview, we go for two types of assessment. Or we have this dual assessment pattern. In first parameter of assessment, we go for questions and answers. We ask some questions and you guys have to answer those questions. Mostly the questions are asked on the basis of your knowledge of research, then your knowledge of PG specialization, whatever specialization you had at uh, your PG. So questions will be asked on research, questions will be asked on your background, questions will be asked on your background means academic backgrounds and questions will be asked on your PG specialization also. Then the, then the second parameter is presentation assessment of research proposal. The most important thing that you should have at the time of interview is research proposal. Sometimes they will ask you to present certain, uh, you know, elements, certain aspects of your research proposal or, or, or else they will go for assessment of your research proposal uh, one by one. So this is what this one is the second uh, parameter of assessment and uh, here and this is what you should have research proposal. Why they expect research proposal? Remember one thing. Actually, uh, I think two, three years back, the question was raised by the participant, uh, raised by the candidates. Research proposal should not be there for the purpose of interview. We all are just entering into the field of research and you are expecting research proposal from us. This is not good as such. No doubt the question was valid, but you are in competition now. Remember, you are in competition. And if you are trying to show something better than the others, as this is what I told you, no, you have to justify your selection. And if you want to justify your selection, not only answering the question is enough, at the same time, you have to show that how you are better in terms of research knowledge, in terms of research proposal than the others. And this is what research proposal is the most and important aspect while appearing for the interview. So carry your research proposal and focus on certain aspects of research proposal. What are the contents of research proposal? We are going to see soon. Now, expectation from the presentation. What do we expect from the presentation? Whenever you present your research proposal or when you go for your presentation, of research proposal we expect something what do you expect what we expect as a panel member we expect the outline of research, proposed research we we are not interested to see your entire research proposal but you have to carry your entire proposal because they can ask you anything about the research proposal so just generally we go through the outline of your researched uh, research, proposed research whatever is your proposed research 
we just see the outline whatever is the outline of your research proposal then research interest we can see your interested area of research by looking or by going through your presentation or by going through your research proposal and then level of understanding what sort of level of understanding you have that we can observe by your draft of research proposal if we go through the draft definitely we can understand the level of interest the level of understanding the research aptitude research attitude and the knowledge level of the specific subject so this is what I, or we expect this kind of things and this is what research proposal should be there and it should be perfect one if i think if you have not made you start making your proposal by taking the help of your senior colleagues and all how it can be made i'm going to show you what will be the content and all i'm going to show you next ha huh? yes madam uh, can you show the previous slide okay i'll i'll show you this one uh, no 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 next slide this one yes, yes uh, so sir are we expected to prepare a ppt about the yes. proposal if they have asked you i think certain uh, research centers they asked you to make a ppt okay actually we have in the word document yes hello we have prepared in the word document no doubt but if your research center is asking to prepare then make it okay sir thank you thank you okay welcome so i was talking about the expectations from of the panel from the presentation so we expect like this and we focus on these aspects remember no one will tell you about this one as i'm i was the member panel member uh, for the interview this is what uh, whatever we have done we have seen that that i'm telling you as a part of knowledge for you all so when it comes to the proposal uh, there are certain contents and your proposal should be in this particular manner actually there are 21 points of research proposal that we expect but some of them i have taken here introduction then statement of problem the most important one people will see about this particular point only or people will go through this particular point only because as i told you statement of problem is the main source of conducting the research if there is no problem no research if there is a problem research is definitely there so focus on this point then importance or uh, importance or relevance of your study how it is important and what sort of relevance of your study is there that you guys have to write that then review of literature no doubt review of literature means uh, means what just acknowledging the past research whatever research is done in the past that you guys have to acknowledge and that process of acknowledging previous research is called as review of literature then objectives of the study you guys have to frame some objectives even similarly you guys have to construct some hypotheses or you guys have to frame some hypotheses for your study and without these two hypotheses and objectives research is not possible in terms of you know whenever we go for any type of research whether it is you know social science research or the research from the field of computer science also no issue at all everybody it is applicable research methodology we need to follow a, a particular process a particular process or procedure that particular procedure or process is called as methodology then we need to talk about how the data will be collected so this is what methods of data collection is also important whatever points i am showing you accordingly you guys have to make your proposal and get to your proposal at the time of interview this is what these points are shown Uh, again it is continued then universe and sample size one the question sort of sampling types of respondents tools and techniques of data analysis chapter scheme conclusion references if you look at the points you can understand what i mean to say just follow this pattern and make your proposal definitely your you know proposal will be the complete one and you will have a strong support at the time of interview if you carry this kind of proposal so you see no doubt proposal is one of the important aspect if you want to justify your selection no doubt people are coming without proposal also for the interview but if you want if you have tough confrontation if you have to justify your selection and if you want to show that how you are better than others definitely you have to carry a perfect and uh, you know strong proposal at the time of interview if you carry this one most of the things are there in your favor remember now the next one how to make your research proposal there are certain things as we know that or i am aware with this 
you all are new in this field some of them they have just started thinking about research and they want to undertake a research so they don't have enough idea about how to make a proposal no doubt if you don't have an idea even uh, when i started my research those days also for me also i did not have that much enough idea to make how to make research proposal so we can do so many things you no know? people are here we can contact our seniors we can contact our experts in our college or in our you know uh, in our colleagues also some of them they have done phd so we can contact them we can take their expertise we can take their advice we can take their guidelines we can take their guidance to make our proposal so how it can be made uh, or else now everything is available on internet just go through those content see whatever is your query wherever you get stuck find out those issues and write your proposal then uh, for that you can do so many things you can go for expertise from your seniors those who are your seniors those who are, who have already done their phd those who are research guides and all so contact with them take their advice and make your proposal even you can contact expert people those who are in their field i think there are so many people they can guide you then you can get some advice from your colleagues also and the last one researchers and research guides known to you there are so many research and research guides which are known to you contact them ask them your doubt ask your queries even you can ask your queries to your friends you can ask your queries to your director or principal they will also help you in this particular thing so this is a way to make your process proposal and i request you all to make your proposal before going for the interview the next one introspect yourself before making your research proposal whenever you are there to make your research proposal before that just go for introspection and see whether you have these qualities in your personality or not or you guys have to consider all those things while making your research proposal think about your capacity while choosing your uh, topic think about your capacity choose a topic which is in your capacity in basically in enthusiasm what we do you know we go for beyond our capacity and we get failure so think about your capacity think about your competence think about your ability think about efforts that you can take for the purpose of research even think about your intellectual capacity also then think about the cost if you want to conduct a research it is it requires some cost nowadays it is costly so think about the cost also and without the cost research is not possible so think about the cost why don't you think about the cost you should think about the cost also then the most important one think about the data availability whether the data is available or not most of the time what happen you know we select a topic we write everything even we uh, send our proposal to rrc rrc means what research and recognition committee which approves your topic rrc also approves your topic and when we start our research actually then we start facing some problems for data collection and there we feel uh, there we observe that collection of data is not possible for this kind of topic so what will happen we lose our interest of research so before starting your proposal at this particular stage you think about the whether think about whether the data is available for this topic or not if it is not available leave it go for the next topic or next title so this one is the most important one remember and this is what i request you before making your proposal just intros introspect yourself by considering these points now what is asked in the interview based on research proposal i think there are two parameters i have made again for the purpose uh, of what is to be asked or what is asked in the interview so the first one that we are going to see that is based on research proposal remember in your interview they will ask some questions on research proposals apart from your research proposal they will ask some questions on certain parameters that also i'm going to show you okay so as far as research proposal is concerned they will ask certain questions am i audible boys and girls gentlemen yes. okay. okay thank you i just now i have checked whether i'm audible or not okay so based on your research proposal they will ask you some questions if you say they will ask you one question do you have a research proposal or not if you say yes they will then they will ask you to show your proposal 
and uh, when they go through your proposal they will ask some questions and remember make your proposal by your own if you make your proposal by your own you may tackle any question but if you do not make your proposal by your own you will not tackle any question see and this is what you should have that much understanding of your research proposal so what they will uh, ask you about your research proposal why this topic they will ask you first question why this topic only so you have to justify your and you have to give you have to justify your topic you have to give some strong answers or support you answers for stating that this is what i have selected this topic and this is what i want to undertake this topic as my research topic so get ready with this answer or everybody has to write the answer for this question which will be the common question or which is the common question and will be asked in every phd selection interview why this topic okay so get ready with this answer <coughs> sorry the second one is what kind of research is already done when you say yes this is my topic and uh, i have decided to go for this kind of topic then they will ask you have you gone through the previous research have you acknowledged the previous research done by the researchers then what kind of research they have already done so you should have some things with you about your research which are already done by previous researcher and how you get it you can get it through literature review and this is what literature review is must suppose your topic is matching with the previous one so they will ask you already the research is done why you are going again so you guys have to answer like that the research which is already done in the past and they have covered these and these aspects and these elements but they have not covered these elements which i wanted to go for and this is what i am going for the research so you guys have to justify your answer for this question also questions are little bit you know simple you feel that you know questions are very simple but at the same time those questions are not simple those are tricky they expect your you know diplomatic answer sometimes remember what are the known works they will ask you what sort of works you are aware with so you just tell the names then who are the pioneers pioneers means what who have already done we are the most first one we feel that you know what we do we search on uh, shodhaganga we search on internet and we feel that yes nobody has done this one i am the first one and who is going to start this kind of research work first time so it is not like this my dear friends it is not like this somebody has already done something but we are not aware with that if you if they ask you who are the pioneers or you are the pioneer for this one you don't say not i am the pioneer yes somebody has already done but it is not uh, you know uh, identified because of the limitation i think it has been uh, it might have done by someone else but i have not recognized or not identified because of the limitations you may say like that both don't don't say i am the pioneer of this topic you should uh, you know um, exclude this thing or exclude this statement at the time of interview or do not give such kind of statement you know if you give such kind of statement you will be in trouble why do you want to work on this topic here also you have to justify this question why you want to work on this topic what are the special reasons of going for this topic if you want to go for this topic what are the reasons why so you guys have to specify you guys have to justify those reasons and if you are able to justify this question answer of this question definitely they will select you so these are the questions which are there which are based on your research proposal and they will ask you related to your research proposal now what is asked in interview now they will ask you some questions about the same things we are covering here about your area of study there are different areas even small small areas of studies we have now even bas <clears throat> basically when we go for social sciences research n number of areas are there even uh, there are some new areas which are emerging according to the need of an hour or need of the world so whatever is your area you should be very much strong about the knowledge about the concept and all then you need to go for the basic terminologies and concepts related to your study 
then you need to think about the essential aspects of your study then whatever recent trends are happening recent things are happening in your study area that you should know about it then they will ask some some you know uh, knowledge based questions also like uh, what is the definition of research what is the concept of hypothesis what is the purpose of objectives or setting objectives or framing objectives they will ask you some questions and for this kind of basic knowledge of research or basic questions of research and research related activities you i you know i request you to go through one research methodology book especially those i think we all are from social sciences so i request you to go through cr kothari's research methodology book i am not you know uh, referring somebody but just i am telling my own experience in uh, from this book you get an idea about each and every concept of research so they will ask you some basic questions also no doubt at all now they will ask you some questions about what is universe what is total population what is sampling method what is sample size then methods of data collection primary data second data testing of hypothesis statistical tools and techniques they will ask you n number of questions no doubt it is uh, not for you guys only your interview won't be there for one hour or two hour it will be there not more than 10 or 15 minutes so but they have that right or they have that privilege to ask you anything so you just go through all these concepts which are related to uh, research and research activities so just go through or try to understand the concept of universe means whatever concepts i have mentioned here so go through these concepts at least you should know the meaning and accordingly you have to answer so these are the uh, knowledge based questions they will ask you now they will ask you something about interest of research already we have seen they will ask you why uh, about the reasons behind pursuing research i think reasons are differ from person to person some of them they are doing research for the purpose of uh, getting degree that or doctorate in philosophy some of them they really have keen interest keen interest i'm talking about i'm, I'm saying here keen interest in research or they want to show you something new they want to contribute something in terms of knowledge in the academics and this is what they are going for the research so whatever is the reason but don't say like that i am doing research for the purpose of the sake of degree and here we uh, as a panel member expect the right answer and sometimes if you are not serious about the phd then you have to give your diplomatic answer also but you need to satisfy the um, you know requirement of the panel member in terms of your answer devotion for research they will ask you what sort of devotion you will give you for the purpose of research most of the time what happen you know we have a number of responsibilities we have our work responsibilities even we have our family responsibilities also so there is a very less time for the research so they will ask you how do you manage if selected what sort of devotion we expect as far as research activities are concerned so they will ask you your devotion for the research so here also you need to justify your answer and the last one your concept of research they will ask you according to you what is research so here you need to give your answer by giving or by you know doing some sort of study anyone can tell what is research but according to you what is research they will ask you one question and here i think this one is a you know uh, again diplomatic question anyone can answer according to their own views and person to person the question of this answer of this question will be different so make your answer ready for this question if i ask you what is your research what is the concept of your research so if you are not able to answer this question right now but make uh, or uh, you know write your answer for this question and carry this answer with you if they ask you this question definitely answer whatever you want to say from your bottom of heart but answer like that they will definitely like you next one then aptitude when you want to go for the research aptitude is the most important aspect so they will ask you some question based on aptitude like what books you have read research is you know not a thing that we can start from the tomorrow or like that we need to have a reading for this so they will ask you no doubt the topic is very interesting the topic you have chosen is very good but as far as this topic is concerned what you have gone through related to your topic what books you have gone through what journals you have gone through what reports you have gone through so they will ask you question like that so make your answer ready for this kind of question also then what are the leading contributions they will ask you 
in your subject whatever subject you have chosen for your study uh, there are certain contributors and uh, do you know the contributions their contributions or not so they will ask you some questions like that already research is done you are also going to contribute something in terms of research no doubt but before that do you know the contribution given by previous researchers in the same domain in the same subject or like that so whatever contribution given by previous researcher you also note down those things and if they ask you question like this answer whatever you are aware with next one what is the latest in this area now they will ask you the recent things which are happening latest things which are happening in our subject if i am choosing a subject which is related to related to bank and bank activities so i should know what is happening in the bank and bank field or banking sector nowadays okay so whatever is the latest things in your special domain or in your domain you should aware with all those domain they may ask you some questions so these are the happening things why you have not chosen this one why the older one they may ask you some questions like that so get ready with your answers for this question also then how do you learn about this topic they will ask you how you come to know about this topic how do you learn about this topic who has given this who has suggested this or have you got this by your own so what is the source for this topic they will ask you so whatever is the source according to you you can tell them if you have gone through the journal and if you feel that this topic is good for me if you got an idea about this topic from books from journal from news from latest news or from latest you know current affairs you just tell them whatever is the source of your topic they will ask you one tricky question and here most of the people they show their you know uh what do we call it negativity basically when this question is asked and mostly this question is asked a member and that question is what second last point of this slide what if topic is rejected they will ask you if we reject your topic what will be the next and most of the type, uh, people they you know show their nervousness they show their sadness and here we commit a mistake if they say like that if the topic is rejected your reaction will be like this no doubt sir no issue sir i'll go for the next topic i'll choose another topic which will be which will satisfy you you may say like that no instead of showing your nervousness instead of showing your unhappiness you just say okay sir no problem if you have rejected it means something is wrong with my topic only i'll go for another topic this is the perfect answer this is the diplomatic answer for this question and we try to see the emotional level of the candidate by asking this question okay so this is what don't get emotional just answer or just answer this question in a diplomatic manner there are different ways you can also answer this question better than me whatever answer i have given just now you can answer this question in a better way so whatever you feel but try to show positiveness be positive if they try to you know demoralize you by asking this kind of questions don't be worried about it just uh, show your positiveness and say like that no no doubt sir no issue sir i'll go for another topic which will satisfy your requirement or your needs next one what makes a good researcher they will ask you one thing what makes a good researcher so you tell them what are the qualities of good researcher whatever you feel that whatever qualities you feel that those are the qualities of good researcher you tell them definitely they will be satisfied with your answer so these are the questions that they may ask you about the aptitude of research and researcher now the this one is the usual marking pattern that we follow at the time of interview basically um, i should say thanks to vijay nimman sir actually sir has provided this pattern as sir has received mail from the research center and uh, sir told me sir you know requested me to talk about this pattern uh, during our session basically we conduct interview once again thank you vijay sir for your cooperation actually it was there in my mind but uh, you give me the ready material for this one so thank you very much for this uh, ready material so usually we go for a 20 marks interview sorry 50 marks interview are you listening me or not gentlemen yes sir yes sir okay, yes. okay thank you thank you yes sir yes okay yes. thank you 
so usually we follow this pattern and sir uh, sanket mistry is waiting uh, in a wedding room i think okay okay i'll i'll say but i think we are at the word joke see what happens you know if we don't join on time this may be the problem i can't see he not there sir okay okay i'll uh, send him the recording no issue okay so this is the pattern that we follow at the time of interview and this one is a common pattern remember uh, center to center it may vary very less but this one is a common pattern that we follow at the time of interview for the purpose of marking so as i told you there is a 50 marks examination and uh, for those 50 marks or those 50 marks are bifurcated like this uh for knowledge and research methodology purpose whatever knowledge of research and methodology knowledge of methodology for that we give 10 marks or we give marks out of 10 then preparedness of candidate for research work we give out of 10 marks then for communication skill as i told you for the purpose of communication skill and interaction marks are given so here also for communication skills and uh, command all language uh we give marks out of 10 and then depth of understanding of the subject uh we give five marks no issue at all then uh, knowledge of current trends in interested area as i told you you should have the knowledge of current things which are happening in your interested area we also check that whether the candidate is aware with the latest things or not and for that we give marks out of five and the last one that is uh, for domain experience related to research area so for that also we give uh, 10 marks out or oh, sorry marks out of 10 so this way the 50 marks are bifurcated and uh, if you i think uh, it may vary from research center to research center but this one is a common practice that we follow and uh, uh, the last one so whatever i wanted to present in front of you i have presented now the thing that i would like to ask you that is your queries so thank you very much from your uh, thank you very much from my end now it's time to ask your questions even i'm ready to with ready to answer your questions even if you have more queries you can ask you, me your queries through sending me a mail or even you can uh, you know pin me on my whatsapp number this is my whatsapp number and you can contact me on my email id also so i'm i'll getting back to the home screen and there i'll see your queries and doubts so once again i'm getting back to my home screen after stopping my presentation already presentation is stopped okay any doubt that you would like to ask me now na set uh, yes sir yes 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 yeah Uh, I have few questions with me. Yeah. Uh, basically, one or two questions already you have been answered. Okay. Uh, the first of all, uh, I was expecting. I mean, uh, everyone uh, from this group is expecting okay. that now all of us are giving the interviews and uh, we don't know though we are new. Uh, still, I okay. have not prepared my uh, presentation. Okay. But uh, I'll, I'll oh. prepare it. No problem. Uh, the okay. thing is that the first of all uh, the ppt format that you shared uh, with some i think uh, 22 uh, 21 21 points were there yeah yeah, yeah. so 20 yeah. plus points were there so all these need to be covered uh, yes. in the ppt presentation yes okay. no no uh, no, no, no hello yeah yes. please complete yeah. please complete uh, yeah and uh, if uh, they need to cover then how much depth is expecting uh, by the uh, panel member the first one first Actually, question okay i'll answer this question and then we'll go for the second question okay so as far as your proposal or the contents of proposal is concerned uh, the actually uh, the, there is one pattern which is given by university of pune or spu pune and that we follow usually we follow that uh, pattern of research proposal and university to university they have different pattern So, but as far as spu is concerned uh, the pattern includes 21 points and uh, just now you talked about the depth of knowledge no doubt panel is going to observe panel is going to assess or evaluate your proposal it means we should have enough or proper depth of knowledge 
or we should have perfect depth of knowledge no doubt and this is what i told you uh, to take some advice to take some advice from your seniors and uh, research guides and researchers known to you if you get some problem if you have any query if you have any you know difficulty while uh, writing some points in your research proposal get some advice from your people and accordingly you make it okay okay sir thank you sir uh, second question uh, now uh, though i am a computer science uh, guy okay. and uh, i am doing my phd i am i mean i am giving an interview in okay. the commerce that is uh, survey based uh, data science model i am going to uh, present okay uh, topic already uh, i have in my mind <laughs> and i am oh. going to uh, search uh, no. the literature review and everything uh, related mm. to that i will mm. do this uh, mm. already i have done little bit mm. but uh, possibly uh, the my question the basic question is that uh, mm. though uh, is is it uh, applicable that i am doing uh, the survey based Uh, data science uh, phd hmm. is it possible yes possible no okay. issue okay and uh, second one uh, <laughs> sir if possible uh, in uh, data science mostly what happens uh, the researcher is uh, developing a model okay good but uh, hmm. that model uh, contains what like uh, it's a kind of a program Okay, and correct. The outcome, yeah, outcome uh, definitely shows uh, what uh, research has been done by that scholar, research scholar. So that okay. shows, uh, but uh, but it is uh, the survey based, and the outcome that we are showing it is based on uh, not only the proposal of the model, but the implementation of the model. I mean, how uh, they will uh, assess uh, based on uh, this model that uh, this is sufficient for uh, the data science. Uh, uh, no data see outcome no no whatever outcomes you are showing at this particular stage those are tentative outcomes right okay. it may vary in future okay am i right okay. or wrong i mean i mean uh, it may changes in between yes it may change in final, uh, final in submission between. correct okay. so they are not going to talk uh, they are not going to you know uh, majorly focus on the outcomes they are okay. going to say what sort of outcomes you are going to show in future and there is no chance to verify the outcomes whether your outcomes are correct or not because you are not done with your research right now just you are proposing yeah, your yeah. research yes so yes, whatever yes. outcomes are there those are proposed outcomes so there is no need to bother about it right now okay uh the next question is uh though already i have started working on it and uh, i have a uh, few papers few means uh, four five papers i have been downloaded uh, related to my topic uh, okay. but uh, how many uh research papers the, the research uh, which has been already taken place of my uh, subject my topic uh -huh. so how many uh -huh. papers are expected uh, to uh, do that okay now i right. can do the research in this uh, particular uh, topic on this particular topic okay uh, you are talking in terms of your research proposal right now right yeah 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 <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry please excuse me okay so see uh, here as far as your research proposal is concerned uh, while writing your literature review we are ex we expect uh, i think four or five research papers or four or five research theses or the you know abstract of those four or five research papers that is more than enough okay okay uh, sir uh, one more uh, okay just just recall one question again addition to that uh if uh, when i am uh, i am downloading the paper i am reading their abstract uh, abstractions uh, the abstract uh, paper yeah abstraction i am reading as well as the outcome also i am reading so okay, what fine, need to be added answer. into this yeah only abstract man only abstract okay only abstract because okay. abstract is the summary you know yeah 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 it includes everything yeah okay okay uh, <coughs> okay <coughs> sorry uh yeah uh, one more question sir this is last yeah, point please. yeah so uh, as you said that uh, there are so many aspects uh, that they will focus on yeah so basically which are the important aspects that uh, the interview interviewer will be uh, focused on actually it depends upon the panel Okay. what that is their privilege they can ask anything okay oh. but the things majorly we ask the common things that we ask in the interviews are 
basically we ask about statement of problem okay okay before that we ask you one question why you are going for this topic only and okay. here you need to justify your answer okay. then uh, we ask about a statement of problem we ask okay. about uh, objectives we ask about hypothesis okay. and we ask about sampling and sampling methods and methods of data collection so four okay. five things are there which are the major one and generally questions are asked on those four five things whatever i said just now okay once data again i repeat once again i repeat why this topic is selected statement yes. of problem objectives yes. hypothesis methods of data collection and sampling sampling and sample sites sampling and sample sites okay yes. without this research is not at all possible so we yeah, have yeah, to yeah. very good so this is from my end i think is there any question from navnath sir uh, no sir uh, if in between uh, something will be recorded i will yes, ask you can ask you uh, can what do you sir yeah someone okay, uh, any you. any other yeah. okay uh, hello, any other one any other please hello sir uh, hi rohit here so i uh, yes, just wanted to know uh, about the interviewer panel so how big is the panel uh, okay generally in panel you know uh, not more than 5 members are there okay So see, sure. are all five are from the uh, university, or some no. from the. Uh, there is a, there is a, you know, a formulation is like this. Uh, one people will come from university as a VC nominee. Mm -hmm. VC nominee means what? Vice Chancellor nominee. <coughs> Sorry. One mm -hmm. person will be appointed by VC as a reservation nominee. There are certain candidates from reservation also, no. Mm -hmm. So they will appoint one person as reservation nominee also. so two persons will be appointed from university mm -hmm. as members of the panel then uh, two experts subject experts means those are the research guides of those particular that particular subject <coughs> and <coughs> sorry research center head so the combination is not more than 5 okay sometimes uh, it okay. is less than 5 also sometimes yeah. it is less than 5 also Okay, so one from research center, two from subject experts, and two from VC. Okay, sir. But all are approved. And... But all are approved from University of Pune. We need to all take an approved. approval for the same things. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, sir, how much time they conduct the interview? I mean, ten uh, minutes, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes. Not I more mean, than fifteen. This again, it depends on. Huh? Depend upon the panel, but not more than fifteen minutes. Okay. Hello, uh, sir. I have a question. Uh, it's like uh, just a. Uh, uh, I'm not. I'm not sure if if it's a good question. Uh, no, but no. you know, questions are always <laughs> good. Questions are always good, Rohit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, uh, and since one uh, one person is from the research center, so and uh, sometimes you know some uh, call a college or a, a, a associate professor or some people are uh, also pursuing the uh, PhDs. So mm -hmm. does research center prefer uh, their uh, faculties uh, in this interview process? no they 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 appoint only research guides remember those who mm -hmm. are having guideship and guideship not only guideship but guideship in that particular domain only those okay. people are allowed to appear or to sit for the sit in the panel okay mm -hmm. okay even while appointing while appointing nominees also they will take care of this thing okay okay so there shouldn't be any problem no person okay. without phd won't be there remember okay okay sir okay thank you uh yes jaydeep okay. sir jaydeep yeah. sir welcome back thank you sir <laughs> thank you very much yes ma'am yes okay yes. so there are two questions from the uh, proposal research proposal yeah please uh, first one is related to the hypothesis Okay. I think last feedback from you was uh, not to have more than three uh, hypotheses. Yes, correct. Where I actually prepared some ten hypotheses. No, no, no. It will be very difficult for you guys to uh, to analyze the you know uh, your research. Come to conclusion. Yes, it's very difficult for you guys to go for analysis. Okay, so uh, best way is to keep only three. Uh, three. Not more. Than not three. more than three. Three are more than enough. तीन तुम काम का सर ओके 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 एंड देन सेकंड क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू टू चैप्टर स्कीम या व्हाट एक्जेक्टली वी हैव राइट हियर एक्चुअली आई एम नॉट ओके ओके एज फार एज चैप्टर स्कीम इज कंसर्न योर चैप्टर स्कीम शुड नॉट और शुड नॉट इंक्लूड मोर देन सेवन टॉपिक्स 
Okay. Basically, we go for topic like this. Topic number one is introductory or conceptual study of your research. Topic number two, it should relate to literature review mm -hmm. related to your uh, research topic. Topic number three, it should relate to your uh, research methodology. So there we are going to, write, going to write everything, statement of problem, relevance of the study, objectives, hypothesis, RM, new methods of data collection, sampling, universe, everything we write there. Okay. And topic number four, maybe uh, profile of selected uh, companies, profile of selected units and so on. Mm -hmm. And topic number five, that is data analysis and interpretation. You collect some data, no? So that will be yeah. analyzed and interpretation will be written. <clears throat> then uh, topic number six, and that is uh, you know finding, suggestion, and conclusion. So not more than six, or uh, uh, at least six, or not more than seven. Okay. So this could be the you know this could be the chapter scheme according to me. Uh, and uh, I, I have seen everywhere. Even I have also gone through the I have also gone for the same. Okay. Okay. Yes, I mean, Thank you very much for this. Yes. Uh, please, now, uh, the uh, uh, one question from this uh, marking pattern, uh, or uh, rather the interview. Okay. Uh, how, uh, if we talk about the subject matter expert, okay. if my uh, whatever the subject I have selected or the proposal uh, research proposal I have selected, so how they will analyze it means uh, if it is related to the industry. So uh, you said that. Uh, uh, most of them are from university and then uh, research guy. So how they will evaluate that uh, this proposal? Uh, how, they how will they evaluate your proposal by research angle, sir. And though they okay. don't have enough idea about industry and the functioning of industry, forget mm -hmm. about that. They will evaluate your topic by the angle of research and research activities. Okay. Okay. So as far as the knowledge of research and research activities, definitely they will evaluate you. On the basis of uh, research knowledge only. Yeah, because why I ask this? Uh, so to prepare that mm -hmm. how I, I should present my research research proposal in front of them, so that they get a fair idea or uh, rather good yeah, idea definitely. within that short uh, span of time. Definitely, so, uh, they will get an idea about your you know proposal, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 <coughs> oh, hi, sir. Yeah, uh, Rohit here. Yes, sir yes. in my research center you know uh, they have asked one as to four people uh, mm -hmm. for the interview and uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> no how we can differentiate ourselves uh, to get selected so can you uh, put some uh, highlighters here i uh, no like uh, i was there uh, when you mentioned these points but can you highlight some points uh, here of how we can create a differentiator to get selected uh, from out of four to one uh, rohit please repeat your question sorry i didn't understand you properly Okay, sir. In my research center, you know, they have asked uh, uh, four people for one position. Four is to one. Uh, one is to four ratio, right? One is to four, yes. So okay. how we can differentiate ourselves to uh, to get a selection? Uh, can you put some lights on this yes, point? Yes. You can differentiate yourself on the basis of uh, the knowledge that you have about the research in terms of your research proposal. If you make your mm -hmm. research proposal strong, and if you have uh, carry, if you carry enough uh, knowledge of research, I'm ask, I'm saying this word carry here. If you carry enough knowledge of research at the time of interview, and if you show that how you are better than others, if you justify your selection, you will be selected. And for that, you need to show everything. You feel like that this one is the last battle in your life, and try mm -hmm. to give your not only hundred, but try to give your thousand percent in the interview. Okay. Sir. Don't leave sure. a question unanswered. Remember, mm -hmm. this is the only funda that you have to apply now because one is to four is a big one, not a small one. So you have to show how you are better than other remaining three people. Okay. Okay. Sir. Yeah. So don't leave a single question unanswered. This is my humble request. Hmm? So prepare. Yeah. You take two days, three days, whatever it is. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, I'm. You are audible, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you are audible, sir. You are audible. I think uh, there is a problem with this. Uh, I think. Okay, now no problem then. Okay, so this is the funda. This one is the mantra for you, Rohit. And follow this mantra. Work hard. You take two, three days for this. 
Yeah, if your proposal is not ready, take somebody's advice, make it ready, and uh, also uh, do the preparation of certain concepts of research. And accordingly, you go for the interview, appear for the interview. They will be yours. Oh, sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We'll prepare. Yes. yes. Hello. Uh, I have yes. a doubt. Yeah. Uh, actually, research part, sampling methods, all those concepts are clear. But when it comes to the point of statistics, analysis, ANOVA, all those topics are always confusing. Those things are minor at the time of interview. Remember, they will not ask you. They will not go into the depth of uh, statistical part because they also know that nobody is perfect in statistics. Even people, those who are conducting research or undertaking research or doing research, they also take the help of statistician for the purpose of research. So those only names you should know. Go through the names. Go through the you know concepts and terminologies. That is only expected. They will ask you what are the uh, statistical tools and techniques that you know as far as the statistical information is concerned. So you just tell us or uh, tell them the names only. They will not ask you when it is applied, why it is applied, and so on. If you answer these questions also, uh, okay. But the main focus is not there on the statistical tools and all. Remember, the main focus is what, why this subject, objectives, hypotheses, methods of data collection, then sampling and all. Even you see, uh, see one thing. Nobody is perfect in statistics. No, even I am also not perfect in statistics. At this particular stage, also, so that is not the main focus. Remember, the main focus is your title and other things. So do not bother about it. This is my humble request. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, madam. Okay. Bhasha means language. There, upon Marathi, we are learning to you. Madhe, that the effect karta. नहीं आसे काही नहीं करत तुम्ही जर मराठी मधूनच पीएचडी करणार असाल तर काहीच फरक पडत नाही पण जर तुम्ही इंग्लिश मधून पीएचडी करायचं म्हणताय आणि इंग्लिश मध्ये बोलत नसाल उत्तर देत नसाल तर मग थोडासा बॅड इंप्रेशन पडू शकतो ओके तुम्ही जर मराठी मधूनच करणार असाल तर बरेचसे जे आता कॉमर्स चे विषय आहेत किंवा बाकीचे इकॉनॉमिक्स चे विषय आहेत त्यांना बरेचसे मुलं किंवा बरेचसे विद्यार्थी मराठीतून करतात मग त्यांनी मराठीतूनच त्यांच्या मराठीतल्या कॉन्सेप्ट्स क्लिअर असले पाहिजे संशोधन म्हणजे काय संशोधन पद्धती म्हणजे काय गृहितक म्हणजे काय उद्देश्य म्हणजे काय हे त्यांना सांगता आलं पाहिजे दिस इज ओनली थिंग्स किंवा तुम्ही सांगू शकता की अगोदरच त्यांनी समजा इंग्लिश मध्ये सुरुवात केली तर तुम्ही सांगू शकता की सर किंवा मॅडम मी मराठीतून मराठी भाषेतून किंवा मराठी माध्यमातून पीएचडी करणार आहे त्याच्यामुळे मला तुम्ही मराठीतून प्रश्न विचारले तर चालतील त्यामुळे तुम्ही सांगू शकता आणि ते तुम्हाला ते तर समजून घेतात असं काही नाही की तुम्ही तुमचं जर इफ यू आर नॉट कम्फर्टेबल इफ यू यू हॅव डिसाइडेड टू कम्प्लीट युअर पीएचडी इन मराठी मिडियम देन नो इश्यू एट ऑल तुम्ही सांगू शकता त्यांना आणि तुम्हाला ते कन्सिडर करतात काळजी नका करू म्हणजे असं काही नाही ना की मी मराठी बोलते किंवा मग प्रपोजल पण मराठीतच लागेल का सर हो हो प्रपोजल मराठीत लागेल तुम्ही ज्या माध्यमातून करणार त्या माध्यमातून तुमचं प्रपोजल असलं पाहिजे तुम्ही मराठीतून प्रपोजल करताय आणि इंग्लिश मध्ये बोलताय चालणार नाही इंग्लिश मध्ये करताय आणि मराठीत बोलताय मग थोडस बॅड इम्प्रेशन पडतं हे मग असं वाटतं की बाबा इंग्लिश लँग्वेज वरती विद्यार्थ्याची कमांड नाही मग हा रिसर्च थेसिस लिहिणार कसा असा प्रश्न पडू शकतो ना त्यांना तर त्याच्यासाठी तुम्ही माध्यम ठरवा आणि त्याप्रमाणे बोला लँग्वेजचा कुठलाच बॅरियर नसतो कारण विद्यापीठानेच मराठीतून पी एच डी करायला अलाउड केलेला आहे त्याच्यामुळे कुणीच असं म्हणणार नाही की तुम्ही हीच भाषेत बोला आणि त्याच भाषेत बोला ओके थँक्यू ओके वेलकम येस मॅडम प्रॉब्लेम असा आहे की मी जे आहे ते कॉमर्स आमचं मराठी मिडियम मधनं झालेले पूर्ण ओके मॅडम हा पण निवडताना विषय ऑर्गनायझेशनल मॅनेजमेंट निवडला गेलेला आहे म्हणजे कॉमर्स आणि मॅनेजमेंट त्यांनी ह्या वर्षी एकत्र केलेलं आहे फॅकल्टी हो 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 तर मग असं होईल की जर आता आम्ही एक कॉन्टॅक्ट केला सरांना तर ते म्हणले ऑर्गनायझेशनल मॅनेजमेंट असेल तर रिसर्च तुम्हाला इंग्लिश मध्येच करावा लागेल अच्छा म्हणजे कॉन्टॅक्ट म्हणजे रिसर्च सेंटरला केला होता का गाईडला केला होता नाही एक गाईड होते ओळखीचे त्यांना केलेला तर मग आता जर म्हणजे प्रॉब्लेम आमचा कसं होणार शिक्षण पूर्ण मराठी मिडियम मधनं झाले तर असं काही अडचण येईल का रिसर्च थिसिस लिहिताना तुम्हाला अडचण येऊ शकते पण त्याला एक पर्याय आहे तुम्ही तुमच्या भाषेत अजून अगोदर जसा पाहिजे तसा लिहू शकता आणि एखाद्या इंग्लिशच्या एक्सपर्टला दाखवून त्याच्यातल्या ग्रॅमॅटिकल मिस्टेक्स तुम्ही सुधारून घेऊ शकता असं काही नाही 
ते ठीक आहे पण आता इंटरव्ह्यू देताना म्हणजे काय असा प्रॉब्लेम येईल का जर आपण इंटरव्ह्यू देताना जर तुम्ही असं सांगितलं गेलं की सर माझं मराठी माध्यमातून शिक्षण झालेलं आहे त्याच्यामुळं मी मराठीत उत्तर देऊ का आणि त्यांनी जर ते मान्य केलं तर काहीच अडचण नाही पण त्यांनी जर असा हट लावून धरला की नाही तुम्ही मॅडम तुमचा जो प्रपोजल तुमचं जे प्रपोजल आहे ते इंग्लिशमध्ये आहे आणि तुम्ही इंग्लिशमध्येच बोला जर असं म्हटलं तर मग पंचायत होऊ शकते पण तुमची जर रिक्वेस्ट त्यांनी मान्य केली तर मग काय अडचण येणार नाही ठीक आहे थँक्यू सर वेलकम मॅडम इज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम माय डिअर फेलो कलिग्स ऑर माय डिअर फ्रेंड्स आय थिंक आय विल सी द चॅट बॉक्स अँड सी द आय गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन कल्याणी मॅडम सर वी आर इन लिटल टेन्स मॅडम डोंट वरी डो नॉट टेक एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ टेन्शन जस्ट फेस द इंटरव्ह्यू विथ फुल कॉन्फिडन्स दिस इज माय ओनली सजेशन डरणे की बात नाही आहे मॅडम हे तो होत ही राहता नॉर्मल इंटरव्ह्यू होगा अब जब इंटरव्ह्यू देखे आयंगे तर बोलेंगे यार हमने तो काफी टेन्शन लिया था जरुरी नाही था इतना टेन्शन लेना सो मॅडम डो नॉट वरी अबाउट इट थँक यू सर थँक यू सर ओके खरंच सगळ्यांना माझी विनंती मी सगळ्या जाताना शेवटी सांगेनच मला Uh, how can we find information online for research carried out on selected topic in the past hcha uh, sathi for this you can search it on shodh ganga you can search it on various academic insights or oh, sorry academic uh, websites what sort of research which are already conducted uh, only shodh ganga is enough to find out whether the research is already done or not please go through the shodh ganga shodh ganga is the official website of ugc where all the theses are uploaded by all the universities of india and there are not i think there are lakhs of theses on the website so go through that you can find out whether your topic is original or a duplicate one then again kalyani madam asked one question how to know recent research in my topic same thing you can do search it on shodh ganga all the theses are available over there uh vijay sir am i audible now yes sir yes sir very much okay. audible okay okay so these are the questions which are there in my chat box and i answered all those questions so there is one more request to you all uh, friends do not bother about the interview give your 100% asa samja ki tumhi interview la jata hai asa samjhus naka mast jaun tumhi kelela tumhi khup abhyas kela i think all are from my you know previous workshops they have you know acquired huge amount of knowledge teni khup sara knowledge gain kelela ahe ani tumhala ja vesh tumhi interview dal na ta vesh tumhala ya kelela sagya workshop cha ka unta pan vatel ki are apun already he sagle shiklo hot kiwa aple ya workshop mde sagla cover jhala hot kutli ch adchani yanar nahi fakta ek ata tumhi gosht givun jawa tumhala basic knowledge cha kahi jari vicharla to tumhala adchani yanar nahi त्याच्यामधून सगळ्या गोष्टी कव्हर केलेल्या आहेत आपण आणि तुम्ही चांगल्या पद्धतीने आन्सर देऊ शकाल फक्त तर राहिला प्रश्न प्रपोजलचा प्रपोजल व्यवस्थित बनवा तुमच्याकडे काय जे काही दिवस आहेत चार दिवस पाच दिवस दोन दिवस त्याच्यामध्ये तुमचं प्रपोजल फायनल करा चांगला प्रपोजल घेऊन जावा टॉपिक थोडासा सिस्टमॅटिक वेगळ्या पद्धतीचं घेऊन जावा जेणेकरून त्यांना तो आवडला पाहिजे मला इथे एक आवर्जून सांगावं वाटेल की विजय निम्मन सर आणि प्रपोजल बनवण्यासाठी खूप कष्ट घेतलेत इवन मी सगळ्या लोकांना सांगितलं होतं प्रपोजल पाठवायला पण मला प्रपोजल जे आले ते गोपाले सर जयदीप सरांचं पण आलं होतं इवन विजय सरांचं आलं आणि गौरी मॅडमचं आलं होतं गौरी चिंचोलकर मॅडम ते इथं सध्या आहेत मला खरंच या दोघांचं कौतुक करावं वाटतंय गोपाले सरांचं ही चांगला प्रपोजल आहे नो डाऊट सर अजून थोडस मला एकदा पाठवा तुमच्या इंटरव्ह्यूच्या अगोदर तर विजय सर आणि गौरी मॅडम या दोघांनी खरंच अत्यंत उत्तम असं प्रपोजल बनवलंय मी इथं आवर्जून सांगेन मी त्यांचं प्रपोजल साधारणपणे दोन तीन वेळा चेक करून दिला असेल विजय सर बरोबर आहे सुद्धा त्यांचं प्रपोजल अत्यंत चांगल्या पद्धतीने बनवले मराठी मराठी माध्यमातलं प्रपोजल कसं असावं सीन आय हॅव गॉन थ्रू द प्रपोजल ऑफ टू थ्री पीपल अँड दे सेंट मी देअर प्रपोजल अँड आय हॅव गॉन थ्रू देअर प्रपोजल सो दोज टू पीपल आर विजय निम्मन सर अँड गौरी चिंचोळकर मॅडम वॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ proposal we should have that we can understand by looking at their proposal nimman sir they took i think sir has taken huge efforts to make his proposal and sir, sir your proposal hello which department uh, sir is from financial management he is from mba management faculty and the gauri madam has prepared a proposal which is a you know what we call it uh, ideal proposal for marathi medium people 
so those who are from marathi medium uh, background or marathi background please contact gauri madam for writing a research proposal she has done a great job i should respect her i should appreciate her for taking efforts okay even niman sir you also did a fantastic job so you all have done very well now the thing is left that is your final interview and i hope you will do it very nicely my wishes are always there with you all and if you face any difficulty if you would like to ask something please pin me on my whatsapp number or ask me your query on my whatsapp number or call me uh, any time no doubt i'm not uh, restricting you guys to by giving a certain or a particular time for calling so this is my observation whatever observation i have hello observe yes just just let me finish madam let me finish so definitely these guys have taken huge efforts and my wishes are always there with these guys and uh, some of them they are still preparing even vidyut sir also sent me his proposal and now he is going to send me his final one no doubt so all the best for all of you for your final and Thank one you, more thing before going to close my session that you guys have to remember always do not bother about your interview just face an interview as a normal interview it's not a interview for the job remember so you here you give your 100% instead of saying 100 i can say 1000% definitely you guys are going to be selected anyhow tumcha selection honarach ahe fakt confidence ni ja ka manto da demoralize ho naka kuni kahi jari matle ki asach ahe tasach ahe kahi nasta asa kahi hot nasta vegla vasto aplyala manacha aplyala demoralize karnyasathi as lok kahi mantat tumcha 100% nahi 1000% deun ya तुमचं सिलेक्शन करावं करायला त्यांना मजबूर करा एवढं सांगेन सो थँक्यू व्हेरी मच अँड दिस इज फ्रॉम माय एंड अँड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आस समथिंग यू कॅन आस येस कॅलेन मॅडम येस सर थँक्यू व्हेरी मच फॉर युअर गुड विशेस फ्रॉम द बॉटम ऑफ युअर हार्ट येस मॅडम अँड सर वी हॅव मिस्ड सम ऑफ द व्हिडिओज ऑफ लास्ट टाइम सेशन्स कॅन यू प्लीज बाय कॉल यू अँड शेअर इन अवर मेल येस मॅडम आय विल डू दॅट थँक्यू सर yes uh so should we stop here uh sir uh, i want to ask one thing uh, that you said uh, the vijay sir and uh, gauri madam has prepared good research proposals for the interview very fine very fine yeah, yeah, very yeah. so uh, we will take help of the vijay sir as well as uh, uh, you us and uh, yes. i will i will prepare my presentation within 2 3 days and i will uh, share with you on your whatsapp uh, whatsapp number Uh, sure, so sure. my request yeah yeah my request is to uh, once you uh, go through it and then uh, you suggest the changes if required I yes think. sir i'll 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 do that no problem yeah, at yeah. all sure sir sure okay uh, it's a request to vijay sir please uh, if you could help us to uh, do a good research proposal uh, with the sir's permission <laughs> please <laughs> yes yes uh, actually uh, we all are in this group so you yeah. can contact each other Yeah, yeah by taking sure. their number from the group sure sir sure okay so i think there is no question from others and uh, this is the right time to conclude shall i conclude now yes sir yes yes sir. also thank you very much for joining and trusting so share ppt is also that ppt is you uh, presented yes yes i'll, I'll share my ppt even i'll share okay. this recording also there is no yeah, issue yeah, sure. so you can see this recording whenever you want and you can take the help of this recording before that i should say thanks to you all for trusting me and uh, showing your trust showing your you know what we call it respect and uh, appreciation which are always there with me thank you very much for joining this course and paying rupees 100 for me <laughs> thank you very much sir we are unable to clap you or applaud you there is no option i am just searching from long time <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you no problem thank you, thank you sir thank yes you. okay thank, thank you sir bye. thank you very much yeah yes, thank you Bye. Thank you. Okay. Bye. 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 Take care. All the best to all of the members. <laughs>